Um, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Story time. Yes, bucket request the first opening of The Call of Cthulhu. I, the horror in clay by H.P. Lovecraft. <clears throat> the most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. The sciences, each straining in its own direction, have hitherto harmed us little, but some day the piercing together of disassociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas of reality that our frightful position therein that we shall either go mad from the revelation or flee from the deadly light into the peace and safety of a new dark age. Theosophists have guessed at the awesome grandeur of the cosmic cycle wherein our world and human race form transient incidents. They have hinted at a strange survivals in terms which would freeze the blood if not masked by a bland optimism. But it is not from them that there came the single glimpse of forbidden eons which chills me when I think of it and maddens me when I dream of it. That glimpse, like a, all dread glimpses of truth, flashed out from an accidental piercing together of separated things, in this case an old newspaper item and the notes of a dead professor. I hope that no one else will accomplish this piercing out. Certainly, if I live, I shall never knowingly supply Link in so hideous a chain. I think that the professor, too, intended to keep silent regarding the part he knew, and that he would have destroyed his notes had not sudden death seized him. There you go. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. See you all tomorrow night, hopefully. Bye.